हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू ऑल सो अगेन आई एम बैक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद माई न्यू वीडियो सो गाइज आई रियली लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन माई ऑल नॉलेज विद यू बिकॉज माई ओपिनियन इज वेन वी शेयर आवर नॉलेज टू आवर नॉलेज इंक्रीज एंड वी शुड बी लाइक हेल्प फॉर द अदर्स ऑल्सो ओके गाइज सो ओनली बेस्ड ऑन दिस माई मैनरिटी आई मेक वीडियोज फॉर यू तो आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द थिंग्स वेरी नाइस एंड वेरी ईजी वे इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट एंड प्रॉब्लम You guys can easily ask me in my comment section. I am very feel free to contact you. Okay, so guys, today our topic is that in the screw compressor of the HVAC, what is the loading and unloading? Means when the compressor have high load, that time how the mechanism inside the compressor is working, and when the compressor is on low load, that time how the mechanism inside the compressor is working. So guys, when the compressor is on the high load and low load so for the screw compressor especially there is one device is called sliding valve okay so this sliding valve is uh, control the flow of the refrigerant in the screw compressor so according to the loading and unloading is depend that how much the uh, refrigerant is flowed through the compressor so this sliding valve how is working all these things i am going to explain you in this video i hope you guys will very easily understand everything so in this mechanism first the thing that is very important is four way solenoid valve okay guys <coughs> this is our four way solenoid valve so this point is this way is a this way we call b this way we call c and this way we call d okay guys so this d is going to the compressor this point is going to compressor okay guys and this c point is from oil manifold okay guys and here i draw the sliding valve so in the sliding valve this is fixed bulkhead this also fixed bulkhead this another bulkhead this is our piston okay guys this piston is connected with the shaft so here is one more fixed bulkhead this shaft is passed through this bulkhead okay guys this also another valve head and this shaft is connected with the Okay guys so this is our sliding valve Okay guys so in this sliding valve this one is the piston This is our this going here the point A and point b is going here okay guys this one 
and this one is our fixed bulk head and this one is the sliding valve okay guys and this is for the oil inlet the hydraulic oil hydraulic oil is the our compressor oil okay guys so in this uh, our hydraulic system is work this hydraulic system have our compressor oil so from oil manifold when the oil pass through here and for example when the system is on load load means when the system need more refrigerant okay guys that time when the sliding valve is open okay guys that time what happen the our uh, compressor oil is coming through here when the system is on load and from point c is reach to point a and from point a is go to this inlet and this piston when the oil pressure increase here in this area what happen this piston move this side and our sliding valve also get open also move this side and then the more refrigerant can go to the compressor okay guys so the time when the system is on load our piston move away this side and the sliding valve also the because the sliding valve is connected with the shaft with the piston so our sliding valve also move and then the more refrigerant go to the compressor okay guys so this is the function of the piston and sliding valve when the system is on high load okay guys so depend upon the, upon the load for example if system is 10 is on 10% load 20% load 30% load 40% load so according to the load this sliding valve and this piston is open and close okay guys and so this time when the oil enter here so this oil make force here so this piston move this side and then the oil that was here this area it pass through is come back through this line and then is reach to point b from point b is go to point d and then from here is go to the compressor okay guys so when the system is on load this is the oil process what happen from the oil manifold when the oil pass through here to the point c so from point c is reach to point a and from point a is go to the this place where is the piston so when is enter here this oil so what happen this piston by the force of the oil is move this side and then together with the piston the sliding valve also move and the flow of the refrigerant is increase okay on the suction of the compressor of the screw compressor and the more refrigerant go to the compressor and then according to the need of the compressor the compressor get the refrigerant okay guys so this is when the system is on load when the system need high refrigerant okay guys at the time when the system is unload means when the system need low refrigerant the time when system have no not enough load not too much load when the system need low refrigerant what that time what we have to do so that time same all come from the all manifold from here is reach to point c and from point c it is reach to point b okay guys this is a four way solder valve i teach you from point c is reach to point b and then from point b is reach to this place so this place what happen the pressure increase the compressor oil pressure increase here then is move the piston to this side piston move this time now this side and the when the piston move this side sliding valve also move this side and then sliding valve start to close the system is on low load and then is stop the flow of the refrigerant according to the load okay and then the oil that was here the compressor oil it go to this area, this line and then from this line is go to point a and then from point a it's go to point d and then from point d is go to the compressor okay guys so this is very easy and very in very nice way i try to explain you that in the loading and unloading how the sliding valve work okay guys so again i repeat for you in the sliding valve the main component 
is our four way solenoid valve this is our sliding valve this is our piston this is our fixed bulkhead number 1 number 2 this is our oil port 1 this is our oil port 2 so what happen when the system is on load the system is on load means the system need high refrigerant okay guys so according to the requirement of the area where we are cooling so we can cool according to the temperature that we want to get on that place so that time the system is on high load means the system the suction side need more refrigerant to work effectively so for that what what do the oil is coming from the oil manifold our oil is the compressor oil so what happen from here this oil reach to point c from point c is reach to point a and from point a of the solenoid valve is reach to this port and then on this port when the oil pressure increase so piston move this side when the piston move this side sliding valve is connected with the shaft with the piston so sliding valve also move this side means the sliding valve open the way of the flow of the refrigerant and more refrigerant can go on the suction of the compressor okay guys and when the piston move this side so the oil that was here because this piston move here and there so sometime the quantity of the oil can be more here and sometime it can be more here like now on the loading time it can it will be more here because piston supposed to move this side and on the unloading side it will be move more here so piston move this side okay guys so this piston move on this piston casing according to the need that how much the sliding valve supposed to be open so the solenoid valve give compressor oil send compressor oil accordingly and then piston move so with the piston the sliding valve also move okay guys so when the system is on the loading on the high load that time through this line the oil enter here and when the force of the oil increase piston move this side so piston move this side the sliding valve also move this side and then more refrigerant goes to the compressor and the oil that was here this oil through this line is go back to the compressor okay guys on the sump of the compressor the, the downside of the compressor okay guys so from point b is reach to point d when the system is on loading at the time when the system is on unloading condition that time what happen the oil come from here is reach to point c from point c is reach to point b from point b through this line it reach here and then when here the oil force increase so what happen is push the piston to this side so when the piston move this side sliding valve also move this side and then sliding valve start to close it start to close the flow of the refrigerant and then the oil that was here it start to go through this way and then from here is reach to point a and from point a is reach to point d and from point d is go back to the compressor okay guys so this is the way how the sliding valve move okay guys so i hope you guys easily understand this so this is the loading and unloading in the screw compressor thank you so much